Today I want to talk a bit about Blast Pass, and this is something that's rather serious that's going to affect iPhone users and has been reported by Citizen Lab on September 7th. So what's really vital to understand about this is it's a zero click vulnerability and that means that you don't have to have any interaction you don't even have to read a message to be exploited by this using iMessage so if you have an Apple phone if you have an Apple device make sure you're getting the very latest of security updates and we'll talk a little bit more about mitigation here in a few and this exploit comes to us from our friends at NSO Group, which is an Israeli spyware company that is out to compromise devices of civil society, governments, and other organizations, corporations, and individuals, especially those of activists, which have been heavily targeted by Pegasus. In fact, if you recall the Washington Post reporter Jamal Khashoggi, apparently there was some involvement with Pegasus regarding trying to track him. At least this is how it's been reported. Let's take a look first at what Pegasus is, and there's a great video from The Guardian. a single text. It can bypass your phone's security and install spyware that grants complete access to your device. It can access every message you've ever sent. It can access every message you've ever received. It can access every photo, every video, every email. It can turn on your microphone. It can turn on the microphone even when you're not using a phone call and just record what you're doing in the room. It can turn on your camera. It can record what's on your screen. It can access your GPS. It can monitor your location. And it can do all of this without you ever knowing. It really shouldn't exist. There is a ton of abuse of this Pegasus spyware. And as you can tell, it is a full control of your phone. And this targets not only iPhone users, but there's also targeting of Android users as well. And this particular vulnerability is serious uh, in a big way because it's a zero click vulnerability not all vulnerabilities are going to be zero click sometimes they'll get you to open a link or sometimes they'll get you to download and run a file of some sort this is different in that you don't have to click on anything someone can send this to you the blast pass exploit chain which involves pass kit which pass kit attachments that contain malicious images with an iMessage format. And so you don't even need to open the message. It can come from a complete stranger, and it's likely to come from a stranger, but it could also come from someone you know. Say, for example, someone you know gets exploited and is owned by Pegasus. Well, it is likely to go through their contact list and then try to exploit their friends, their family, their contacts. And since we covered Cube's disposable virtual machines and we talked a bit about having malicious emails or malicious files I thought this would be a good video to do after that to kind of talk about some of the problems in mobile with these kinds of backdoors because that's exactly what it is it's a backdoor and Israel in particular is one of the countries that really puts a focus on this backdoor surveillance technology they're one of the most prominent in the spyware phone spyware uh, industry if you do have an iPhone it's a good idea if you want to be extra safe to enable something called lockdown mode and you can find out about lockdown mode I'll leave a link to this in the description if I forget just leave me a message and I'll make sure to add it uh, lockdown mode helps to protect the devices against these highly sophisticated cyber attacks so if you want to turn on lockdown mode uh, you can do that on your iPhone your iPad and your Mac and what it's going to do is it's going to put your device in a much more secure uh, operating mode. And this may cause issues with some of 
the daily tasks you may be doing. Uh, you may be a little more restricted, but if you need that extra security and you're concerned about this, especially when something hasn't yet been fully patched and isn't fully understood, it's a good idea to take this extra measure and turn on something like lockdown mode on your Apple device. So you can see the directions right here. You go in your settings and tap privacy and security, scroll down, tap lockdown mode, and turn it on. As simple as that because they really are selling this thing to so many parties that are authoritarian governments. You know, we have regimes that have no regard for human rights, and there's no issue at all, it seems, with uh, serving those interests, which I understand uh, when you have partnerships in different countries, they make alliances regarding weapons, and this is, in fact, a weapon. It's a cyber weapon, and uh, they make these kinds of deals. So uh, all kinds of countries, uh, we just saw the other day, uh, you know, one of the investors of Twitter is uh, the Saudis, and Apparently, someone was executed for their tweets uh, re recently, which I read about. And another thing that's happening on Twitter that's a bit concerning is Elon Musk came out saying that he may actually plan to make it a paid platform. So everyone will need to pay if they decide to stay on it. Now, personally, if that is the case, I won't be sticking around Twitter. Um, I get much more, you know, reach and interaction um, and meet a lot of interesting people on Mastodon and Faustodon in particular. So uh, I'll be happy just staying on Mastodon if that turns out to be the case. I don't support that because, you know, that brings up a whole other can of worms with de-anonymization and the fact that people are being executed for their tweets. The last thing we need is something like a de-anonymization of all users on Twitter. Um, just seeing what has already happened, imagine what will happen if all users are de-anonymized on Twitter. Um, that would be a real catastrophe. So we took a look at Pegasus real quick. We also took a look at BlastPass, which is a zero-click vulnerability for the iPhone that I hope you guys are aware of. And I try to make these videos to just keep people aware of what I think is the most important topics. Let's now take a look over at this uh, nightmare bill. And honestly, when I took a look and saw that the UK has passed the online safety bill, it's honestly a nightmare. Uh, there's no real other way to describe it. It's it's a true nightmare to see something like this pass. And uh, we really need to be vigilant. And I really encourage you to share this video, spread this information, help inform people about these bills because you may not think it affects you. You may think it's only a UK thing. No, this is going to affect all of the end-to-end -end encrypted messengers that have a foundation or company behind them. This is going to affect everything. It has a real, as it mentions, extreme legislation. And it truly is extreme. It is a uh, dystopian totalitarian nightmare bill. That is what it is. I wish I could put it in uh, a nicer way, but it is creating the tools to create an authoritarian, totalitarian regime. And when you build those tools, it is only a matter of time until the stars align and someone takes advantage of the tools that have been built, that foundation, the smart stuff, the smart cities, all of that is going to be taken advantage of by authoritarian regimes around the world. And I believe it's going to erode democracy and it's going to create totalitarian regimes out of what were referred to as democracy. So that is why we should never build these tools because these tools inevitably take us in a direction where opportunity presents and governments change from respecting the people to someone who has way too much power over the people, control, full monitoring, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. You know, you create these tools, this infrastructure for full monitoring of all citizens, all peoples, um, 24 hours a day at a deep level, you're inevitably going to get abuse out of it. We already see how much abuse comes out of things like FISA. Uh, can you imagine 
how bad the abuse is going to be? Well, this particular bill wants to do backdoor scanning of your devices. So people in the UK, I hope they're out in the streets. They really should be protesting this. This is a serious issue. This bill is the most problematic bill that I have seen in the United Kingdom. I knew there was problems when I saw that they had laws for imprisonment for speech. Once you open this door, once you start criminalizing speech, it is inevitable that that will continue to spread. And that's why I believe in setting a red line for free speech. And as bad as some of the speech is out there, I really do believe that the only solution that preserves your liberties, that preserves your own free expression, is more good speech. So for bad speech, you know, people can stand up to that and people can stick up for each other. You don't need to throw people in prison for their words. I think it's a dangerous path and now we're seeing the technology roll out which is going to bring it to a whole other level. So this is a true nightmare, Bill. It really is. And um, I really feel for everyone in the UK and even Signal mentioned that they will be leaving the UK. So as it mentions right here, encrypted messenger providers end to end WhatsApp, Signal, and UK-based Element have threatened to pull their services from the United Kingdom if Ofcom, which is the regulator, demands an examination of encrypted messages. And one of the things they want to do is client-side scanning. We saw a lot about this, and I've also mentioned how you know, someone else who's been in the news, Ashton Kutcher, he actually runs a group or is at least involved in a group called Thorn, which has been really pushing to have client-side scanning to, quote, protect the kids. As we know, this is the new line. It once was terrorism, and, well, people didn't fall for that, so now they're protecting the kids. People need to understand that their empathy is being weaponized.